Okay, as we approach the new Rubicon gate, you'll know it's a slip meter or an automatic gate by the center motor located on the gate. And the two stems, they're rising lower to adjust the gate position and adjust for your flow. So we're gonna go over how to set your gate to gate position. So now we'll go over to the pedestal. At your pedestal, each one has a combination lock and the, the, the number is assigned by your dish tender. So you go through and put in the number. Once you have the pedestal open, now you can see the control area for the pedestal. You'll notice that we have instructions for you, gate position, gate flow, both in English and Spanish here at every gate. And on the pedestal itself, you have a raise, a lower button, left to right button, cancel and, and select keys. So for gate position, we're gonna start by hitting the left key, put in the password supplied by your ditch tenant. And then once you put in your password and hit select, you'll have these choices. You'll need to go down one to local control, hit the select button. It's gonna give you a warning. This will lock out remote control actions. That's okay, let's proceed forward. So now it'll give you various selections. The selection you're looking for is if you scroll down one, gate position. Once you're at gate position, the okay, hit the check mark. Now it's gonna prompt you to enter your inches of gate opening. So using the buttons, the left button allows you to go left, the right button allows you to go right. The raise button increases the numbers. The lower button decreases the numbers. So for practice, let's put in two inches. And then we're gonna hit the okay once we're okay with what we entered. It's gonna ask you a second question. Update the control set point to two inches. Yes, we wanna confirm that. So now you'll notice a little bit of sound and then the gate will commence to open. You'll note that the gate is opening when the line rises above the, the black block. The gate will continue to rise to achieve the number of inches you put in on the pedestal. Since this is only a practice session, what we'll do is we'll go back to the pedestal and pretend you finished irrigating. So once your irrigation is done, you'll go back to the pedestal, start with the right key, put in the password supplied by your ditch tender, and now you have three different selections. The selection to stop your irrigation, you hit the lower button once, you'll see the arrow indicating stop irrigation, hit the select button to select, and it's gonna ask you a question, warning, Get close selected. Do you want to stop irrigation? And yes, we do want to stop irrigation. And now you can confirm that by looking at the gate and the reference line in the position of the stem. You might notice the pause, that pause is normal. It, it, it's trying to calculate its position but the gate will continue to close. And the way you can confirm that the gate is closing is once it gets to the closed position, you'll notice your reference line again will meet the black block. So now that both lines meet, you can confirm the gate is closed and your irrigation is done.